Hello and welcome to RC Worlds and thanks for stopping by. The channel Prinzel Tatze invited to the RC Horror Challenge. Use your imagination and build a Halloween car. I have a cheap stunt tank or ripsaw in my collection, which I always wanted to repaint from the day I got it. I got some paint left over from my Mad Max Bull. I just needed some details for the Halloween store from the dollar store and some time to do this. And here we are. I don't want to lose further words, so let's just jump right in into the building sequence.
Ok, now the tank is finished and I'd like to tell you something about the build and the details. In general, it was an easy build. If you were organized, like taking pictures before disassembling and putting the parts in a sorted way aside, the rebuild should be no issue. Buying the deco was fun. It's always surprising what you might find in the dollar stores. So I have a budget-friendly Halloween car. For the skeletons, the spiders, the dragon and the snow globe I paid around 10 bucks. That's ok. The tank and the paint was already here, so I had a great base to start with. So let's get to the details. The first is that my camera cannot transport the tone of the finished paint. This is also meant for the glowing details, so I beg your pardon for this. I also thought about painting the tracks in rust too, but for several reasons I didn't do this. The color might get off on the first run, but with the metal shining through them, this might be okay and looking great. And I had further thoughts not to do the painting. Paint also adds weight to the tank. The color might prevent the chain links in moving and the motor and the gears have to fight with all this. This is not a hobby grade car, where a stronger motor might be the solution. Ok, this is a solution, but I don't want to do this in this build. The paint job then was easy and fun, like on my Mad Max Bull. As soon priming is done, I just sprayed the different colors by random wet on wet onto the body, until I was happy with the result. In the end I put a layer of varnish onto the body to get a flat finish. Then I had the idea of tinting the windows. For this I used the clear red for Lexan bodies. 
Great idea and do it from the outside of the parts, remove the shine from the glass too. The black plastic parts of the roll cages, bumpers and wheels or let's say rollers are left unpainted. The tone suits perfect to the body. For the Halloween details I use spiders and skeletons. The skeletons are a little bit too big for the car, but cutting and gluing gets them onto the seats. They have no legs anymore, but some spiders have 10 legs and they are blue. But hey, it's Halloween and both creatures glow in the dark, which is an extra cool feature. To let them glow, they need light before. And for this reason, I had to remove the side windows again. The spiders also have an uninspected extra, which is a net in which they were sold. It fits very good over the front of the ripsaw and can carry these animals. That the color of the net is black is no problem. In my mind, it fits better to the tank than a white net. And I noticed that some of the shugu I used came out under the spiders. Let's just say it's slime. The other two things I added are the dragon and the skull snow globe. There's nothing to say about the dragon. I only had to take care that it's glued very good. The globe carried by a skeleton hand is a very nice detail. Same that the snow is black. This deco looks great, although the snow is a little bit lazy and slow. It doesn't whirl around like in the standard globes. But all in all, it looks great on the bed of a tank. So this is my tank. Right now, I don't even have a cool name for it. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. As a short summary, the build was easy and cheap. Okay, I already had the car and the paint here. Without these, the costs of this build wouldn't be around 10 bucks. Somehow I miss lights, fog and sound. But I already had used my hobby budget for other projects. If in the next year the RC Horror Challenge will be repeated, I can do some things in preparation right in the spring, especially on technical functions. Then to add Halloween stuff when it's on sale in the stores should be an easy thing. Or maybe I'll get the Deco stuff the whole year at the Jungle River. I will see. Now it's time for Trick or Treat. I thank you for watching. If you have some questions, the comment section is yours. And as always, please like, share and subscribe. Happy Halloween and see you soon on Assy Birds.